Zach Simmer, <laughs> Zach Frazier. Questions for Zach? Go ahead, Greg. Yes, so Zach, start with uh, not missing spring, but not practicing as much as I'm sure you liked. Frustrating? What, what was that like for you? Because you haven't missed a lot that I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a little um, hard for me when I was sitting on the sideline, uh, you know, watching them because I felt like, or like, of course I wanted to be out there and, uh, but it's definitely good to be back now and, and practicing full speed, so feel, feeling good. Did, did it set you back at all or, I mean, because you're a veteran, it just, you know. I, you I don't think up. so. I mean, I still had stuff that, uh, I could still watch film and, um, I could still like, you know, weed out all the stuff that I need to work on, and um, at the same time, you can still do drills on air. It's it's still not the same, but um, you know, I don't, I don't think it set me back. What was it like? Did you you've been in there pretty much since you got here? What was it like to just take a step back and watch the other kind of um, first team play? Coach Moore kind of specifically talked about other guys kind of needed to fill your role while you were out. Yeah, I definitely felt weird. I I didn't like it, but. Um, yeah, definitely a weird feeling just sitting back there, and especially when at that point I was pretty much healthy, but and I, I could I felt like I could have gone, but it wasn't worth the risk. Did you see guys like I think he, he mentioned Doug and, and I think um, Brandon specifically stepping up and, and playing center and, and kind of taking your leadership role, well, not taking it, but you know filling it. Yeah. What, what was it like to watch that from? Yeah, the I mean from the beginning of spring to end, there was definitely a. Uh, they made a big jump and played really well. I, I think both of them are um, could play center right now and play it well. Zach, obviously the quarterback competition is a big you know, focal point this fall. Um, guys that you've been around, um, I guess, how have you seen them grow and, and develop you know, from that to last season up until this point now? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been – well, Garrett came in with me, and then I've obviously been here since Nico came in. And, uh, and they've – both grown tremendously and uh, on the field and off the field, this their leadership, I would say too. Um, and then also you see them on the field every day and they're both getting better. They're both throwing, throwing it well, making good decisions. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Zach, I, I'm sure you're aware of people's NFL projections for you. Now that you're, you're back in school, is there anything individually even that you're looking to work on We've asked some players in the past that maybe have one year left or looking at the NFL that, hey, I want to work on this, and maybe the average fan wouldn't be able to decipher. Yeah, I'm. Um, Is your position that yeah, you rely on stats yeah, as much as others? I think um, I'm just doing the same thing I always do, like just focusing on, you know, what I feel like are my weaknesses and what I can improve on. And um, really, I don't, I don't try to think about that too much. I just kind of try to, you know, make myself the best you know, that I can be in, um, and then, you know, whatever happens, um, you know, it, it'll happen, but I'm just kind of just focused, you know, w one day at a time, kind of. So you said weaknesses improve on what, what would be those things? What do you concentrate on? Uh, I just have, I mean, I feel like in every part of my game, I'm always working on something to get better. I don't feel like I've ever, um, you know, I'm ever perfect or anything. I just always have, um, little things that I'm working on. Is there maybe an advantage in that way? I mean, obviously you've been in there when Garrett and Nico have been in there before, but the offense is going to be a little different this year. Are there a little different style quarterbacks than certainly last year? Is having more games with them potentially going to allow you to grow different as a player? I would say um, both, of, both of our quarterbacks now, they're definitely more mobile and um, – I'd say that's the biggest thing. I, I feel like in college football, uh, you know, mobile quarterbacks do generally well, and um, I think I think that's going to be fun to watch this year. Just and it makes it easier on us too, because um, you know, even if you know if everyone's guarded downfield, they can take off and have a huge um, gain. Or if someone gets beat, they can elude it and go get get a gain of you know five ten yards, something like that, instead of taking a sack. Offensive lineman, though, with a mobile quarterback, we could obviously you guys, you know, you, if it was a pocket guy, you had you knew yeah. what was happening. Different now. Yeah, um, he, he, uh, you just have to be ready for them to take off and then chase them down, or and then I would say at the same time, sometimes you don't always know where he's at because he's running around. But um, 
yeah, it's it's not it's not too different until they take off. that and kind of how does that reflect yeah um yeah i would say garrett's probably more of an energy guy and then but they're both they're both very calm and you know cool and collected so um but i would say garrett's definitely a little bit more sparky and nika is more uh serious and Uh, it's really meant everything. Um, just like you said, growing up in Fairmont, um, you grow up watching West Virginia come into games, and it's really what you, you know, what I, what I've always dreamed of, and um, it's just been really special so far. Has there been times? I mean, you started right away your first year. Has, has there been times where you you couldn't believe that you were? I mean, you said you this is what you dreamt of. Have there been times where you've had to pinch yourself or anything? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say probably uh, when I found out I was starting for the first time, that was probably, um, you know, one of the coolest moments because, you know, you worked so hard and then it finally came true. And, you know, you just finally realized that you're going to start the game. That was probably the coolest uh, moment I've had. Zach, talking to, talking to, uh, to uh, Garrett earlier, it sounded like during the spring you might have worked on your golf game song. Yeah, yeah, we like to golf. Tell me, tell me a little bit about your golfing history. I mean, uh, you, you are not – I don't think they make golf clothes in your size. Oh, well, uh, I have to have uh, extended clubs a little bit, bigger grips. and uh, But, yeah, I try to swing smooth. I don't I don't try to kill it. So, I try to swing easy. But, um, yeah, we play a lot whenever we can. It's a totally different game than football. And, and, and I mean, it's about the only thing I can think of as a like – is that an out of bounds hit is bad both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is he attracted to you? I would uh I think it all started really in COVID when you, we really didn't have anything to do and that was one of the only things you know you could be outside and you know away so I I think we started golfing a lot during COVID and then ever since then it's just been a, a good like relaxing thing to do and uh get away for a little bit so it's just a little bit of a get away from me. What's that? Who taught you? Well, I played baseball, um, but that doesn't really help on the golf course. And uh, so just uh, probably YouTube videos. <laughs> so. What's the best club in your bag? Uh, probably my wedges. I'm like Wedge? good. Yeah, I'm like good. At, I, well, I like chipping and stuff like that. So get you to 100 yards? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's your putting? It's it's good right now, actually. I don't I don't know. It's normally not, but yeah. Probably. We're normally pretty close. Best player on the team and best lineman on the team in golfing. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Eric said it was very surprising to see you around the green field and your touches. I mean, you know, you don't think of a guy as big as you are that, that spends your life throwing people around having a delicate touch, yet he said you kind of. That's the best part of your game. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, you got to handle nice, the football, Nice right? call. So yeah. You got to have some soft yeah. hands to snap the ball, right? Yeah. 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 So there's some touch here. Yep. Uh, the other thing is how far do you hit it? Like, um, like a driver? Yeah. I mean, I've hit some really far, and then I would say, but on average, I probably – Hit it like 250 or something. I don't try to kill it, but I mean, I've hit some over 300 for sure. But maybe watching some of the pro golfers who aren't that big. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, the there's some guys that are way smaller than me that I'm friends with that can crush a ball. So, and the other thing was tell me a little bit about the wedding this summer. Yeah, um, I got married in May and um, it was a lot of fun and we had a good time. So, how many guys on the uh, O-line are married now? You, Nestor? And the eights. Three of us. Yep. Three of them. Yep. Wow. Yep. You didn't think you were going to be asking questions about your golf game and the wedding. <laughs> no, <right>? no. <laughs> you weren't prepared for that. No. <laughs> How does being married change your life day to day now? The wedding's over. The, the party's done. Now you're 
But what's what's it like? Yeah, every, everyone always <laughs> asks me, uh, like, how how different is it being married? I I think it's pretty much the same. I don't I don't think it's too different, but um, yeah, I definitely got a good one though. Yeah. I got in here late. Um, and I'm sure you've been asked this before, but when when you found out that you were going to be picked last in your league, what was your reaction? And was it uh, did you guys talk about it amongst yourselves a little bit? Yeah, I mean, when you get picked last, that that's uh pretty much like a slap in the face and yeah. you know but like if, it's good too because it, it fires you up and uh obviously when we all saw it we uh weren't happy w happy with it but it's, it's definitely good motivation and um I, we're looking forward to trying to prove everyone wrong and uh just getting after it this season does that keep in the back of your mind do you guys keep that in the back of your mind uh like daily probably not yeah. um not like constantly but yeah yeah it's always it's always in the back of my mind um but yeah yeah. In your opinion, um, as far as the, as the team, what, what's better about it than maybe last year or last spring um, in your mind? I would say we just have a really good group of people. And um, I really like everyone on this team. And I'd say we're really together right now. And I just, I just really like this group that we have. Jack, I'm pretty sure you can answer this. Um, you've seen a lot of nose guards and like different types of bodies and play um, in practice, right? Yeah. From your, from your teammates. Yeah. Um, how has that kind of evolved and changed when across from you, I guess, through the years? Like uh, through the years? Yeah. yeah um, like what they're doing on defense. Yeah. So obviously it's like it has to do with every person's a little different. Um, like going off of like our team now, like uh, Eddie V is very good with his hands and he's quick. So I have to set a little different to him than um, – like uh, Mike Lockhart or um, Hammett or uh, Fatorma, they're more bigger guys, more bull rush guys. So you just set them a little different. Um, but I would say the difference is just the bull rush guys versus the guys that are a little quicker and better with their hands. You can only the defensive coordinator. He can only play the guys he has. So what's that? The defensive coordinator can only play the guys he has. Right. Some of these guys are new, or maybe they're better. Right. Um, was the style of play different? Like, were they I don't know, in gaps more instead of bull rush? Was it like quicker instead of power in the past? Are, are you talking about like this year to like? Yeah, a year before, two years ago. Your in your time as center, what have you seen from the defense here? At um, that spot. Like overall, it's it's normally been a lot of movement, um, like a lot of nose cross and face and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know. It's not. You're pretty strong, but Jordan said that like the power from those nose guards is probably different and better than it has been the past couple of years. Oh, for sure. No, okay. Oh, you agree with that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do yeah. you? How does someone like you notice that? Because I imagine you're not going to be easy to move, right? Yeah, like, I can still I can still feel like the guys I'm going like I've gone against them before, and like last year I went against um, most of our nose guards, and you can just feel the, the strength of them, and you can feel them uh, like even from the last three days. I can feel that they've gotten stronger and they're getting better, which is, which is good. Over the strongest one, toughest one there. Uh, he's very strong. Yeah. He's very strong. Yeah, they're all they're all they're all pretty similar. Has the approach opponents uh, have taken to you changed over the years? Is, uh, can you say Has that again? the approach that opponents' defenses towards you uh, changed over the years? Do, do, do they? Do think different things now than they did earlier? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure if they change, um, but I definitely scout them and, you know, know who I'm going against and try to figure out, like, what's their game and, you know, what they're good at. Uh, it was definitely a good honor, um, but I, I don't get too caught up in, um, like, the preseason stuff just because um, – you know the what matters is at the end of the year, and I think that we definitely have some guys that will be there at the end of the year too with me. So, or ho well, hopefully, um, but the goal is the goal is the end of the season, and um, I, I think we have plenty of those caliber guys on our team. Is there a big difference for you? I know in spring Doug jumped out to tackle and Jaquay moved in. Is that a big difference for you who's playing next to you? I, I'm pretty comfortable with. Uh, because even like uh, Yates, he's he's played plenty of guard, and and uh, Hubbard has too, and 
uh, I've, we all feel comfortable together. We all have the same communication, and uh, really anyone can jump in there and, and know, uh, and we can communicate and know what each other's thinking pretty well. How much does it help that, I mean, basically the whole line has been together going on almost three years now? Yeah, that's, that's everything, really, because we all know um, – we all know the offense very well and uh, know how to communicate with each other. Okay, anything else for Zach? Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Yep, thank you all.